I know lots of you want to. And then you are like, oh, no, I'm looking for universities without application fee. Now, here is another university without an application fee. Yes, so let's dive straight into the video. Before I go in, you're welcome once again to my YouTube channel. So this is the University of Tuskia. Tuskia. Mm. So when you type it on Google, you come here. I like to always translate to English. You click English <coughs> for easy navigation. Sorry, guys, I'm a little bit under the weather. It's terrible here. So manage with me. So you go to English. You come to this yellow icon here. You click. And then you go to International. You come here, International Educational Offer. So here we are. Now you have every information that you need on this particular website. Now, before we go into the courses, let's quickly look at the scholarship for international students. Now, what are the scholarships available? Okay. Scholarship offered. So you see the scholarship for 2025-2026 academic session is um here. Is it there's a scholarship location for two scholarship? You understand me? But this one is reserved to international students enrolling in secular economy or mechanical engineering master degree program so it's not for everybody and then the deadline is february 24th and then they also have the iyt edition of the school the third edition of iyt scholarship now this iyt scholarship knows that it's not for all countries not all countries are eligible so you can click you can find out more information currently this scholarship is running but if you're from nigeria you are not eligible i'm sorry about that oops so let's go on now International educational offer. So, if you want to look at the brochure, you can download it here. So, you said below is the complete list of courses available in English at UNITOS, UNITOS is University of Tuskia. So, these are the courses available. Okay. These are all the programs available in English language. Now, this one that is inter university courses, you know that this one's. They will be here both in Tuskia and in another university. You see here now the headquarter here is Rome. And then also here is Rome. But this particular course is no this last one here. Note that you see it is in Italian and English language, not purely <coughs> in English language. So we are going to pick one now. The this application is very, very easy. We're going to pick one now as an example. So let's say forestry and environmental science. So you see the program, the course length is two years. Admission, see below. English language, department. So let's go down and then. So you can also do where well to look at the learning objective, the course structure, the career opportunities for this course program, further education, if you want to further, what are the opportunities, admission requirements of which is of importance to us at the moment, further learning activities, traineeship, download broker regulation, contacts. Now, this contact, you find a lot of contacts here in case you want to contact the head of department. Whoever is involved in this particular department, you'll find their contacts here. So let's go to admission requirements and procedures. Now, these are the requirements. You know, one thing I've noticed is that when a university puts out requirements, hmm, please make sure you meet the exact requirements before you apply. Because if you don't meet it, you will not be given an admission. Especially for the ones that people pay money for. It's painful. I get a lot of students who they don't meet the basic requirement that the university has given there that you must meet this certain kind of credit in this particular area. And then they apply. They're not giving admission. You see now, this one, it said undergraduate degree with at least five credits, five ECTS in each of the following subject areas. Chemistry, plant biology, civil culture. So if you've not done any of these courses, you cannot apply. Or if you've not done one, you cannot apply. The tendency that you will not get admission is very high. Okay, so you see here they require twelve, and then the English require. These are all the certificates that they can you can get anyone. You understand me? Now they say other certif language certifications certificates can be assessed by the commission at the time of admission. Lacking such certification, the students will take an additional test at the part of admission interview. So here they're not saying that oh, you must have this. If you have this, good. Now if you do not have this, maybe you've done your program in English language. They're not giving a total refusal here. So when you are doing your admission interview, 
or they say you can additional test as part of the additional interview maybe they will consider you if you do not have the certificate okay so now listen no please look at this place additional requirements for international students born after december 31st 1997 so you must be born after this year hmm? if you are born before this year is not you don't meet the requirement and not current students at the university then have we have obtained the bachelor's degree a grading point average upon than a corresponding to 28 over 30 of the internal grading system you understand me so here now you must have based your gpa in equivalence to this grading system is what you should have in italian grading system 28 over 30. you can find the formula given by the italian ministry of education okay now hold a bachelor's degree or post-secondary qualification issued by a foreign university or a recognized higher institution it should not be before 2021 you see it should not be before 2021 okay so these are standard requirements then you will come here you click this form <coughs> so you are going to fill up upload your document in the below form you understand me and then they would communicate with you they will book an interview with you via zoom or google meet Okay, the link will be provided 24 hours before the interview. So prepare yourself for this kind of interview. You can also use Google to know how to prepare for interview. There are also lots of videos here on YouTube that people have made on how to prepare for an educational what interview. So you see, you put in your email, your name, your surname, date of birth, place of birth, nationality, bachelor's degree, year of degree, bachelor's degree, university, CGPA, minimum CGPA, maximum CGPA. Then you see you upload your files. Okay, you're going to upload your transcript as well. Oh, here then I even said upload a copy of your English certificate or medium of instruction certificate. So here I'm sure you can ask well upload if English was your medium of instruction. Okay, since there's an opportunity for interview, you can always defend it. Now they're asking how you were how you found them, and then you click submit, and that's it. Simple, straight, and short. There's no application fee. Okay, guys. So meanwhile, you know that we click the form here. So meanwhile, assessment of form personal competence. You see this, the adequacy of skill assess is through an admission interview. And look at the areas. They're going to be asking you questions. You see them. You see these areas. Forest ecology. You see all these ones here. So these are the areas we'll be asking you what questions in. Okay. So you can use this. Um... You can use these ones. You see definition. They're asking. You see they've ah, they made it easy for you. You can use these ones to what to prepare. Okay. So to for the um tuition fee, you click this joining unit us, and then you go down. You go down. You see fees and contribution. You click. So this information is actually based on last year information. So you see, this amount five five hundred and fifty two is for students with citizenship in developing countries, and you see the list of developing countries here. See it here. Uh -huh. my Nigerian people, we do not fall into developing country anymore. Italy say we are developed now. <laughs> then you see, um. This money too is also for students from Ukraine, okay, and those who have resided in Italy for no more than two years. Then one thousand euro is for what every other student will pay, okay. So that's the tuition fee for this particular university. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on the comment section. I provide guidance and one-on-one -on -one assistance on my Telegram group, okay. And it's not free to join the group. So if you want to join, you can ask me. Telegram group and I will send you to my 
Facebook, you DM me there and I'll give you the price and what I actually offer on that group. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Bye.